Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. Before you get to the video, make sure to leave a like. It really helps us out. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss when we post a video. And then also, if you guys have any videos that you want to see from us in the future, make sure to comment those down below so we can get to them. We first started off by going to USPS to ship our goodie bag things that we wanted to give for Podcast of Palooza. We had these necklaces that we were giving out and we spent about 10 hours making them, putting everything together, and then had to go to USPS, got one of those priority mailboxes, and they wouldn't tape it for us. Okay, tell me your rant. So we, they wouldn't tape this box. This is a priority box, okay? We're paying a priority, like you pay $21, that's how much it costs to ship this thing, okay? This is going to United States Postal Service. That's government, correct? <laughs> We pay them what, 30, 40% of everything we have and they can't put a piece of tape on here for free? That we're like, paying for? Tape? We're, you're I'm paying, paying to, to ship, ship it. This. I'm paying you everything I have and you can't get a piece of tape? <laughs> Come on, USPS. Ridiculous. And so then we had to go on this little adventure to go find some tape. And this is what we found at the Dollar Tree when we were looking for that tape. We had to come to the Dollar Tree so we can get packing tape because a USPS won't ship our package that we need to send to a PCAP. Found this. Isn't this funny? It's like a, I don't, why? Chasing unicorn pretending to work. The next morning, a really big thing happened. We got a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Come down here really quick. Here, look. Look. Ah, a thousand, wow. So thank you for every single one of you guys who have subscribed watching these videos. We really, really, really appreciate it. <laughs> wait, wait, how did they do this? I don't think this is it. It's been a few years since we ate at this dim sum restaurant that I have been craving for for maybe the last, what, three or four years. Yeah. The first time we went, Jace didn't have the best experience afterwards. It just didn't sit well with his stomach. But at that time, you didn't eat a ton of Asian food anyway. Yeah. You were better this time. There was a salted egg custard bun that I have been, oh my God, like literally dreaming about. And it was just as good as I remember it. That was my absolute favorite. We had quite a bit of simai, which was really, really great. We had chicken feet which we tried for the first time which was interesting not my favorite thing but fun to try and then also just a bunch of other really great chinese foods i grew up in orange county but never went to balboa island before and so we did take a little trip to balboa island uh we borrowed my parents car and they have a nice convertible car and it was the first time that we've ever driven with the convertible yeah. down ever so we've been walking to balboa island we're about to go to like newport beach newport beach but we're gonna, I think we know how to open the sunroof. We so called my dad, so. <laughs> we're gonna give it a try. You ready? Yep. Ooh! Yeah, baby, look at me, I'm gonna get some burnt. <laughs> Heck yeah, we have to play the song. I got my head out the sunroof. Wait, it's not even a sunroof, it's like a. I got my, I put my hands up, playing my song. The butterflies fly away. <sighs> not in my head like, yeah. Okay, let's go. So far since we've been in California, it has been one of our favorite memories so far. We drove from Balboa down to Newport Beach, Newport Beach. We made it to made it to the beach, Newport Beach, baby, right here. Look, we made it. Beach time! We're wearing normal clothes, we're not gonna get in the water. We just walked around for a while, went down to the pier, and just had kind of a nice time hanging out. I remember forever ago, we used to always want to buy one of these houses here. We used to come to Newport Beach all the time and we always wanted to buy one right on the beachfront one of the ones that looked like very uh, like modern. an apple store yeah but now i would never want to live here like i don't we've been here for like 30 minutes i don't even know what to do like you can go in the ocean which is fun but other than that it's just I don't know, it's beautiful to sit here, but I just don't, I wouldn't want to own one anymore. After we left the beach, we went to Fashion Island. Okay, we had a nice little time at the beach. Check this out though, on brand, going topless. <laughs> so now we are going to our Fashion Island mall. It's like an outdoor shopping center. We're gonna see what's going on there. This is like our favorite part of the day, currently. It's, it's just driving, driving with, down. with the top down. We got some snacks from the Capital One store uh, maybe the week prior, and so we had a cute little picnic. We found a nice little place to sit, kind of like a picnic area. There's actually like a 
grass over there, but we don't have any blankets, so we didn't want to sell in the grass. But we have a bunch of snacks that we got from the Capital One Cafe at Irvine Spectrum not too long ago. They gave us the bag. It was all just free. I know. So we have um, apple chips. We have crowd source alkaline water. But then they also gave us this thing that I think is almost like a... Uh, like liquid uh, IV? Yeah, it's a liquid rapid hydration mix. What flavor is that? Blood orange? Yeah. So we're going to stick it in here and we're going to hydrate. While we eat. And, oh, and we have a nice granola bar. Ooh, double chocolate. Seven grams of protein. I'm going to try the blood orange hydration drink. Tell you how it goes. Oh, awful. That is. Oh, it's not good? That is no good. Uh, no. I mean, it's not terrible, but it tastes like it's just trying to hydrate you. It's definitely not built for flavor. Is the liquid IV a lot better? Yeah. It tastes like, kind of like liquid IV. Okay, now I'm going to try the chewy granola it bar. good. That has like no flavor. Yeah. It tastes like a Quaker, a Quaker oats bar. Like exactly like the chocolate chip Quaker oats bar. Five out of ten. Those are. They're good. For the fact that it's all free. Overall, I mean, fun. It's nice to sit here, so. There you go. And then we also went live there and that was really fun. We went live on TikTok and hung out with some of our uh, TikTok followers for a little bit when we were at Fashion Island. And that was fun. I love Ube. I like Ube too. I love Spam I too. love Spam. I'm recording us going live for YouTube. Yeah, we're like doing a, a, a well, a contentception right now. Yeah. So we're on live here and then we're vlogging over here. So we went on the highway with the convertible down and that was kind of scary. <laughs> we were going pretty fast. Like Lee, it was only maybe two miles or something. But uh, yeah. A little too windy for enjoyment. <laughs> we won't do that next time. That night we finished off with eating hot pot again. I think this is the third time we've had it in like eight days. But it's I think worked. it was ten, but... Needless to say, it was way too many times in a short amount of time. On that Friday morning, we got up. Our game, which we had finally, is a physical form now. And so we went live and just hung out with some people and talked about our game going live for the first time. So we are live on TikTok right now. Well, we just started about going. to go live. Yeah. And our game came out today. So the physical game released today. We cannot be more excited. So we're going to go on there and talk about it for a little bit. We have like this first like old box, which is a prototype box. We didn't love it, but we have this one now. I'm just so excited that it's finally here. So people have been asking for it for so long, so the fact that it's out is fun. So we're gonna go on live and talk about it for a little bit. Right after we got off the live, we did get an email from TikTok, which we've been waiting for. And like, here's just how it went. So we're about to cut my hair. I have an update that I want to come on here and speak on really quick. Our TikTok account got taken down like three weeks ago. Like our bigger one. Our bigger one yeah. that had like 140,000 people on there that we were able to talk about and help people grow and learn. And we weren't doing anything wrong besides educating on there, which isn't wrong. We weren't doing anything wrong and they were educating. And so every single day I've been sending in multiple requests to get our account put back up. And we just thought we were gonna get it put back up because we didn't do anything wrong. We just teach about the lifestyle. We didn't do anything and people reported it because people don't like what we do. And we got an email from TikTok today saying, we understand how important your TikTok account is to you, but after further review, your account will remain permanently banned due to violations of adult nudity and sexual activities. We just educate on ethical non-monogamy. And it's just so sad to me that we can't even do that. Uh, until that account's gone, we're gonna make, when we have another one and it's growing and that's great. And I'm so thankful for TikTok for letting us be able to have an account and grow and teach anyway. But it just made me kind of sad. And um, I said, I'm thankful it's a restart. Everything happens for a reason. But I just wanna come on here and say this on camera while I'm thinking about it, that I just think it's sad that um, sometimes you can't educate about things just because society isn't accepting of it but i just have hope for the future if we keep talking about these things and we keep trying to destigmatize things that shouldn't be stigmatized the way they are and we try to educate about what this is actually is that one day things are going to be better and one day people are going to be accepting that like love can come in different forms and i know it's going to happen i know it's never going to be the normal thing but i know that if we keep educating and all these other creators also keep educating one day people are going to at least to an extent respect the life that we choose and um yeah i just want to come on here and say that and so every single person watching here and i mean if you guys see this uh thank anyone who's watching this and understands that our lifestyle is normal as well and yeah i don't know it was just a thought i need to put it in some sort of space and that was it so thank you for coming to my ted talk okay jace needed a haircut and my aunt had some cutting supplies and all that so cutting he did supplies. that <laughs> hair cutting supplies hair salon what are they called I don't shavers know. whatever they are Gave him a haircut. Okay guys, 
Bella's about to cut my hair. We're gonna do some movie magic here. I'm gonna expose myself because my hair is too long and not done. Okay, I'm gonna spin and then movie magic hair is going to be beautiful, okay? Okay, look, movie magic, my hair is cut. Thank you. You're welcome. Then the next morning we got up, we went to the swap meet, that's where I got this hat. And we also got a few other things. We went to the swap meet again for the second time since we've been here and we got some things. I was looking for a, I really like wearing silk scarves as shirts and stuff. And so I got, so these type of scarf thingies. So then you can wear it in your hair, or you can wear it as a shirt. And there's like so many different ways you can wear it. I got two of these so I can tie them together and make different ones. And then I got this really cute design that looks Burberry-ish and then this, um, ivory-ish color and they're all silky and built nice and then I got candy Mexican candies these is um it's like a powder this is chamoy flavor and then this was mega flavor and it was just okay then we went to the source and that's a kind of food court area lots of different restaurants and shopping in orange county we had this awesome tech bulky meal which is like rice cake and spiciness and then we got boba and lots of good food that night we came home we played a super intense game of monopoly look how much money i just made in the course of less than one minute because <laughs> of this the end of the week, we went to go eat at this sushi buffet. It's called Saki Tumi Sushi. They have one in Oklahoma and they also have one here. We usually go with my parents. So we went there with them and some family and it was so good. And that brings us to the end of this vlog. So it's been a really, really fun week. A lot of exciting things have happened. There's been some ups and downs, but overall it's been a really good week. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with us. We really, really appreciate it. Make sure to leave this video a like. It helps out a ton. Comment if you guys have any questions about this video, or there's any things you want to see in the future from us. And then make sure to subscribe so you never miss when we post a video and we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!